Welcome back to another video. I wanted to take just a very few minutes today and talk to you about a word that is very important in our life, everyday life, your walk with God. Uh, as the title of this channel says, God, Country, and You. So yes, I do talk about God quite a bit on this channel, and I plan to. I want to try to help teach and, um, you know, maybe help you to grow in your Christianity or in your walk with God. I've been following the Lord basically all my life, and I've been preaching for like 30 years. So, um, you know, I, I do want to try to help you as an individual. So maybe by you watching these videos, it can help you, <clears throat> excuse me, get a point across to one thing that I'm, I might be thinking. And the title of this video is talking about forgiveness equals a new start. And that is one thing that I don't think a lot of people really comprehend. As I was reading today on Twitter, and uh, please follow us on Twitter, God Country and You, uh, we try to tweet just about every day, little things, maybe things encouraging, which is what we want to do here. Do retweets and things like that, whether it be a verse or a saying or something to that effect. But I was reading something someone else posted about uh, forgiveness, and basically they was talking about something that someone did, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 years ago, and basically what they were saying was, remember that. And I thought, wow, you know, when God forgives you, you're forgiven. A lot of people today don't really have that concept, and it's hard to comprehend, but that is so true. Do you know, if you're a child of God and you're watching this, when Jesus Christ forgave you, you was forgiven just like that, instantly. Now think about it. You didn't have to, you didn't have to do a research paper. You didn't have to fill out an application. You didn't have to stand in line. All you had to do was say, Lord, forgive me, and be sorry enough for what you had done that God knew you meant it. It wasn't sorry for being caught, but it was being sorry for actually doing what you did. Now, there's been an instance over the last couple of uh, weeks where this Major League Baseball team from a couple years ago got caught cheating, and it's just now come out. This team won the championship, you know, and a lot of people are angry about that because it might have it cost some teams that, that play all year, that, or that play six or seven, eight months out of the year, it cost them a possible championship. You know, there might have been other people that was affected that they either had to retire or got sent to the minor leagues because of this cheating and, you know, lost a lot of pay or money that they could have had. So the whole sports world was really torn upside down on this. Well, here the other day, they had these two players come out. And what these two players did was they brought a little piece of paper and they said, we apologize to whatever for our fans, you know. And basically, most people said, that's not an apology. I'm not talking about Christian people. I'm saying most people said, that is not an apology. And basically, what they were saying was, these two people read it off a piece of paper, and they basically said, we're sorry we got caught. So, you know, uh, getting forgiveness is more than being sorry you got caught. It's being sorry you did what you did. And when you do that, and you are sorry, do you know what? God will forgive you. You don't have to go to me. You don't have to tell me about it. You don't have to tell your neighbor about it. You don't have to tell anybody about it. You know why? Because God knows, and it's between you and him. The Bible said that there was a woman that was caught in the act of adultery in the book of Matthew, and I'll put the scripture link uh, in the description box, and you can read it on your own time. But you probably know the story, hopefully you do, but in case you don't, or in case you're just reading, trying to get some encouragement, I'm trying to encourage you, God will forgive. God forgives, and, and you can start fresh. This woman that was caught in the act, it didn't say that they'd heard about it, or, or uh, they'd read about it. What it said was they caught her in the act and brought her before the Lord, and basically they was wanting his approval to stone her. But the Lord bent over and began to write on the ground. What did he write? I don't know. I don't know. I've I've heard people talk and speculate, and I thought it really made a lot of sense. Maybe he wrote the sins of these people. Maybe he wrote their sins out, and maybe not even put a name, but maybe he wrote the sins out on the ground with his finger. And when they looked down and they seen that, the Bible said they turned and walked away. Do you know why they seen, hey, we've got things in our life too. So then the Lord asked the woman, he said, where are your accusers? And she said, Lord, we don't know that there are any accusers. I don't need, there, there's no accusers. They've all left. And he said, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. At the moment he said that, she was forgiven. And he said, you've got a fresh start. A fresh start. So you don't have to wait today till 
Next month, you don't have to wait till 2021 to start fresh. If you've got something you has been bothering you, if you've got something that's been bringing you down, if you've got something you feel like you don't have victory over, pray about it. Take it to God. And the Bible said he will forgive you. He will help you through it. And you can start fresh. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. Again, it's nothing between anyone else. It's just between you and God. He knows all about it, and he will forgive. And when he does... You know, now people, just like that person today that I was reading, they were saying, well, what so-and-so did 10 years ago? People don't forget it, okay? A lot of people don't have the concept of forgiveness, and they don't forget. But the Bible said that God forgives and forgets. We, in our human mind, we can't forget things, okay? But myself, I might not forget what somebody's done, but if I know God's forgive them, a they're forgiven just like me. You know, that's why a lot of times you read those uh, license plates. Christians aren't perfect. They're just forgiven. I'm not perfect, and and God knows I've made so many mistakes. But you know what? God knows I have been so sorry for the things when I've, I have slipped up or if I've done something wrong. God knows that, and I am so sorry because I want to please Him. And you know what? He will forgive me, and He will forgive you forgiveness. Think about it. Read the passages. There's another passage or two I'm going to put in the description box because it talks about as far as the east is to the west, that's how far God will cast your sins away and not to ever remember them again. Think about forgiveness. Catch us on the next video. We want to try to help you out. Follow us on Twitter. Like and subscribe here. Hit the bell for notifications. And every time we put out a video, you'll get dinged on your phone and you'll know, hey, Maybe I can get an encouraging word today. We'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.